Ladies and gentlemen, no one cares that I didn't eat the Krabby Patty burger except my detractors because they have nothing to say about me anymore. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Pig Roach Gazette. So yesterday, DSP stated that no one cares that he didn't eat the Krabby Patty that Wendy's is now promoting, except for the detractor community. Apparently... The detractor community's world revolves around DSP. And DSP also went in on Rich at Review Tech USA, as you'll see in this video. So, without further ado, let's watch Phil's Delusions and get right into it. Paggy Burger on Friday, and it wasn't. <laughs> I tried the Krabby Patty Burger on Friday, and it wasn't. Wait a minute. Rich tried the Krabby Patty Burger? Why did Rich try the Krabby Patty Burger? Because I said I was going to try the Krabby Patty Burger, and I didn't. So Rich has to go out of his way to get it, to, like, be a part of it. Like, again, you see this weird, bizarre obsession, this mania? So because Dark Side Phil was going to get the Krabby Patty Burger, Rich had to go get the Krabby Patty Burger and, and eat it and taste it himself. Like, you know, you didn't have to. And Rich, by the way, you probably shouldn't have. Just saying. Situation you're in there, you probably shouldn't have eaten the Krabby Patty Burger. Like, I can eat. The Krabby Patty Burger, it ain't going to really affect me. You know, I'm only around 10 pounds overweight. That was a nice silent jab at his weight there, Phil. But then, I understand that you have gout. So you're not in the best health yourself. But, we all know how much of a hypocrite you are, don't we? You shouldn't be eating that shit, dude. Paggy. <laughs> Krabby Paggy. Uh... Oh, fuck you. Oh, I'm getting tons of support. I, I wasn't wait. anything great. Wait, look at this. You were literally chat. seething because he actually got money to eat the super <laughs> burger. While you are lucky if you get 300 bucks a stream, nobody cares except you. You are literally crying in an overweight child. Is what and this is what I mean. Like, that's absolutely true. Ladies and gentlemen, no one cares that I didn't eat the Krabby Patty Burger except my detractors because they have nothing to say about me anymore. Are you sure about that, DSP? Are you really, really sure about that? Because people like myself are speaking on this right now and will speak on this. Every stream, I'm hitting my goals. Every stream, I'm getting views. I'm winning. I'm making good content. Everyone is watching and enjoying the content, right? Do I have a million views? Of course not, but I never have, and I don't need that. I can be massively successful without having a ginormous audience because people appreciate the time and effort I put into my work, right? And this is killing the detractor community. They can't fucking take it. They can't, they can't believe it. Like, they actually think that this is like a giant plan. To this day, they're still saying, listen to this. They're still saying that Kino Casino is setting me up. Like, this is still a carry like situation where the pig's blood is going to dump out of the sky onto my head. They're still saying that. They can't cope with the fact, they can't handle the fact that actually things are going well for me, that things are, are nice, right? That things are getting better. I mean, I have 360 viewers on YouTube. I have over 70 plus viewers on Kick. I've got people enjoying the content, watching it everywhere. I've got people supporting me from multiple different directions and multiple different ways. I got people who want to be on my podcast as an interview. I just can't get them scheduled because they're so fucking slippery like eels, right? But like things are very different and these people can't handle it. So to them, the fact that the Krabby Patty Burger couldn't be delivered to my home. So instead I ordered the Adams Family Meal, which was better for both for content and as a reward, because there were more food items that I taste tested. To them, that is the ultimate betrayal. How dare Phil promise one thing and deliver another, right? Despite the fact that what I delivered was better than what I originally promised. It's the equivalent of, hey, I'm promising you I'm going to give you $10 at the end of the week. And instead, I handed you a 20. But you'd be upset because I promised you 10. How dare you only hand me 20 when I said you said you were going to give me 10? Wait, what are you talking about? I give you something better. No, I'm upset. Because you gave me something you didn't originally promise. It doesn't make any sense. You understand? It makes no sense at all. Zero. So, these people have no argument. But again, Rich has become a detractor. Like, he can't see the reason behind anything anymore. Any detractor, any meme that a detractor comes up with, he's on board for it. 
100% hook, line, and sinker. So he actually went and he got a Krabby Patty meal to talk about it and act like, see, DSP couldn't do this, but I can. Like, no one gives a fuck. Like, literally, no one cares about this Krabby, Krabby Patty meal at all. No one. We're, we're half a week later, right? Like, that was supposed to happen on Saturday. It's, it's fucking Tuesday. And we still got people talking about this. Like, get the fucking, get out of here. Get a life. Yes, there it is. It's interesting that you would tell somebody to get a life when you don't have one yourself. But then again, your hypocrisy is well known. Right? Glad you agree with me, Phil. What the hell are you talking about? You're insane. 